Hi there. Welcome to Apple World Steve Harvey has forever been an area of strength for a man that we as a whole know and love. Yet it seems like that outside is gradually disintegrating. It appears that one of America's most adored TV shows is very nearly losing his ideal family. Steve and his better half, Marjorie, have been hitched for 16 years at this point, and it appears to be that a few truly dull skeletons from Marjorie's past have been uncovered, with many individuals blaming Marjorie for very much going behind Steve's back with his own guardian, as well as seeking legal separation from him. So right away, we should get straight into it, an extremely dim past. Steve Harvey has a total of seven youngsters from three unique spouses. He's a dad to the twins. Brandi and Carly, alongside the child Broderick from his most memorable spouse, Marcia. He imparts the child Winton to his subsequent spouse, Mary Shackelford, and has three stage messes around with his ongoing wife, Marjorie. These include Morgan, Jason, and Lori, all of whom he embraced. Steve Harvey is known for being an extraordinary dad to his youngsters as a whole. Yet, most recently, it appears that his marriage is in a difficult situation. Spouse of 16 years, Marjorie's past has returned to haunt her, and this time it's undermined the underpinnings of her marriage. With Steve, it appears that Marjorie hasn't been devoted to Steve all through their marriage, and here's the reason. Marjorie was first married when she was 18 years old, to Jim Townsend, a medication boss, when her previous spouse was placed in jail for drug charges. The FBI and DEA started examining Marjorie as they supposedly thought that she had really assumed a major part in her better half's medication ring. At that point, specialists told Jim his significant other would be captured, as the specialists accepted they had significant proof of her own criminal operations. He was condemned to life in jail. He carried out 26 years of his punishment and was delivered in January 2017 in the wake of being acquitted by President Obama. Marjorie was never accused of wrongdoing and incidentally, she separated from him. Under five years into his sentence, Townsend said he planned to share every one of the dangerous insider facts of his and Marjorie's marriage, saying, I'm spilling my gut. Nobody realizes what occurred except for me and Marjorie. In his tell-all journal, he portrays what went down in his union with Marjorie, including uncovering her for being involved with him while he was hitched to another lady, which Steve Harvey supposedly had no clue about. Townsend then, at that point, blamed Marjorie for falling off anti-conception medication pills and getting pregnant quickly to push Townsend's most memorable spouse good and gone. Presently, it is a well-known fact that Townsend composed this diary to turn the tables on Marjorie for advantageously separating from him when he was at his most minimal. She had the option to carry on with her life as a liberated person, while Townsend experienced being in a prison cell, which sadly he's excessively disturbed about. However, that isn't all. Jim might have really been wounded by the way that Marjorie began another section of her existence with another accomplice, straight in the wake of finishing it with him. Be that as it may, this accomplice turned out to be Jim's cousin, Darnell Woods. They had a girl named Lori, which brought them much closer. It was amazing for some when it was uncovered that Darnell was associated with the medication exchange as Townsend's cousin. Yet he as well crossed paths with the law and wound up in jail. Marjorie went through one more separation and completed the cycle in 2001. In the wake of perusing Townsend's book, many individuals brought up that Marjorie appears to have an example with regards to picking her spouses since her subsequent husband. The dad of Lori Darnell Woods was likewise associated with a medication ring and was gotten, not to mention being. Townsend's cousin. Be that as it may, Steve additionally isn't guiltless. He's had his own set of experiences of bombed relationships before he got hitched to Marjorie, and he excessively appeared to continue on quick. The moderator was in his separation with his most memorable spouse, Marcia, when he decided to trade promises with his subsequent wife, Mary. Normally, the two never figured out how to trust one another, which at last prompted their separation in 2005. Be that as it may, Mary wasn't going down easily. At the point when she and Steve separated, she blamed him for having numerous illicit relationships, one of which was with, as a matter of fact, Marjorie. Simultaneously, Steve and Marjorie initially met in 1990 during one of his parody shows in Memphis. They turned out to be closer after some time and got married in 2007. Their marriage didn't keep going long, and they isolated after half a month. 
Marjorie realized Steve was the ideal individual for her from the beginning. However, he pulled away in view of cash issues and his obligation to his profession. He felt that a man was expected to comprehend himself, his work, and his likely pay prior to being a decent accomplice. After 10 years, in 2005, Steve and Marjorie reconnected. Steve had finished his past union with Mary, and his parody show, The Steve Harvey Show, had completed the process of recording in the wake of getting hitched to her in 2007. It appeared that the rest was history, and the couple turned into an outline of what a Hollywood relationship ought to resemble. It appeared that many fans overlooked the way that Steve went behind his subsequent spouse's back with Marjorie, however, that was until another new piece of gossip transformed everything. The stunning charges and the gossip that is getting everybody talking are that Marjorie is having an unsanctioned romance with Steve's long-term protector, William Huge Blast Freeman. William had enormous blasts. Freeman is something beyond a guardian. He's safeguarded Steve Harvey for quite a while now and presents himself as the praised relationship speaker, creator, and superstar guardian on his site. As per different sources, Marjorie was as of late seen with Freeman in the shadows, persuading numerous to think that the couple were something other than companions. The justification for why many fans like to assume that this is obscure and that the talk may, as a matter of fact, be valid, is on the grounds that Freeman played a part in uniting the big-name couple back in 2005, which persuades numerous to wonder whether Freeman and Marjorie really had history. Numerous eyebrows are raised, scrutinizing two or three's connections' uprightness. Steve Harvey, as of late, shared an energized video about how he met Marjorie and inscribed the post. I realized I planned to marry Marjorie the moment I saw her. The, the video shows the excursion of his relationship, and in the end it says, I have been with her from that point onward. Also, that was the entire story. Steve additionally talked about his notorious guardian and said that it was Freeman who really reached Marjorie's companion to get Marjorie to address Steve. The day that Steve got his separation, as per Steve's long-lasting protector and companion, he needed to encourage Steve. Obviously, many fans are currently considering the way that Freeman approached her and her companion in any case. As a matter of fact, the protector has straightforwardly conceded to abusing ladies and having a dull past, which sadly is, by all accounts, Marjorie's sort in his life story on his site. Freeman genuinely discusses how he used to take advantage of women to feel in charge and certain when he was associated with those exercises. After these bits of gossip loosened up, media sources then started to report that Marjorie, subsequent to getting found out, really chose to petition for a separation from Steve. Presumably, in light of the fact that Steve couldn't simply allow it to go unnoticed, presently, just to remind you folks once more, Steve and Marjorie have both purportedly undermined their accomplices or have been associated with swindling outrages previously. So, this really doesn't surprise us. Different sources are likewise guaranteeing that Steve won't acknowledge Marjorie's petition for a separation since he would rather not lose his millions. That's what many assume, assuming they do separate. Marjorie could be getting up to half of Steve's realm. Harvey's nibbled back. So what were Steve and Marjorie's responses to this? Taking to web-based entertainment, Marjorie seemed to dismiss the reports, saying she has attempted to overlook them, yet feels she owes her devotees a reaction. Marjorie shared a section from the Book of Scripture saying that when they savagely mocked him, he didn't fight back. At the point when he endured, he conveyed no intimidation. All things being equal, he shared himself with someone who judges legitimately. She then proceeded to say, my significant other and I don't generally stop to address all the absurdity and untruths that have been spread about us. Be that as it may, for whom much is given, a lot is required. I comprehend that with my foundation comes some kind of obligation to those that may not be areas of strength, however we may be. Marjorie shared a connection to material called How to Deal with Being Lied About and urged her supporters to impart it to the people who could wind up in a similar circumstance. Many fans found this abnormal on the grounds that Marjorie purportedly never answered tales before, which have been way more awful. Steve Harvey likewise had a great deal to say at the Contribute Fest Commercial Center 2023 occasion. He said, I don't have the foggiest idea what you all are doing. Would it be advisable for you to do so, assuming we find master? Show kindness. Sure, however, I want to cuss. You know, because now and again, you simply need to. 
you need to answer. In any case, I ain't got no time for talk and tattle, man. God has taken care of me. I'm actually sparkling. I appreciate you all coming. It appears that numerous people of note talked with regards to Harvey. Nigerian representative Ned Noko talked about these bits of hearsay after supposedly connecting with Harvey. He wrote, when we read about our companion Steve Harvey and his beautiful spouse having issues, we needed to reach him. He affirmed that he and his significant other are okay and it's all phony information and ought to be ignored. The family is glad, and we want them to enjoy all that life has to offer. Obviously, fans weren't having any of it, fundamentally in light of the fact that Steve or Marjorie didn't verify or refute swindling tales. One fan composed we find. 